Hey, this is Allie Edwards, and I had a reader request to walk through the steps of how uh, I use the half circle numbers, one of the new projects or products that I have available at Designer Digital. So I'm going to test out this system here of recording my voice and showing what I'm doing on the screen, kind of like Kathy did the other day in that Tuesday tutorial. So let's take a look. What I have on the screen right now is um, I have one of the half circle numbers opened, and this is a .png file. It's got the number five there. What I'm planning is that I'm going to put in a photo of Anna on the bottom half. That's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. And the five is for the fact that she's five months old right now. So I've got the half circle number ping file open. I have an image photo of Anna over here that's been sized to about five inches wide. And then I have the white half circle uh, that comes along with that half circle number package. And this is going to be for masking the photo into this half circle shape to be able to fit in the bottom portion of uh, this number five over here. And I'll walk you through those steps now. Essentially what you want to do, you can recolor these ping files really easily. Uh, and I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to leave it black for right now and then I'll show you how to do that as well. First thing I want to do is take this white half circle uh, white element here and I'm just going to drag it and drop it on the number five half circle number ping here um, and that's just using the move tool, the little block arrow key and I'm just going to set it right on top of there. I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to hit uh, command W on my Mac to close out that window, kind of get it off of my desktop space. Now I'm going to come over and I'm going to take the photo that I've had, that I've resized already. I'm going to get make sure I'm clicking on the right spot and I'm going to move, drag that over onto this um, spot here. Same thing, I'm going to close that window, don't save, Gonna make this a little bigger here. Now you'll notice that my photo is significantly larger um, than I want it to be, so I'm going to resize that down and I'm doing that by holding down the shift key and dragging from the corner. And I'm going to be just placing this kind of on top. You can still resize it after you mask it and I'll show you that as well. So I just want to make sure that the corners are in there. Okay, so once you have that um, image on top of the half circle part, this is what Kathy showed you how to do in the Tuesday tutorial this week, um, where I'm going to basically I'm pasting it inside or masking is the technical term. Make sure you've got your move tool selected, apply that transformation, um, and then you're going to toggle between the top layer and the bottom layer. On a Mac, you're holding down the Option key. I think it's the Alt key on a PC until you get those little circles and then click to mask it inside of that shape. You can do that with any shape. It could be, you know, half circle is what works for, for this element. Uh, I am going to use my arrow key on my computer to just move that up a tad. And then I want to move up the whole object. Now I'm going to take the number five layer and I'm going to put it on top of the photo there as well. Now one of the things that I do a lot when I'm recoloring these digital files, these ping files, is I will go over here to my toolbar and I will select the eyedropper, which I'm looking for, there it is, the eyedropper, and I'll go into my photo and I will just um, grab a color from within the photo. As soon as you click on uh, your photo using the eyedropper tool, it will give you that photo over or that color over here in the color palette. Um, go back to your move tool and uh, make sure that the number five uh, is selected, which is my top layer. And in, in CS4, which is what I'm working in, in Photoshop CS4, you go to edit, fill, uh, use the foreground color, which is the color that I've selected, normal mode, 100%. Uh, opacity and click OK and that's going to recolor that element for you. From here you can uh, you could uh, merge the layers down together and drag it and drop it onto a digital page or you could print it out um, or you could post it on your blog. There's all kinds of different things that you could do. I'm going to make a background layer, new layer. Okay. Um, 
put this to the back just to make it white so you can see it a little bit better. You could also add some type in here by selecting the type tool. Um, let's say you just wanted to put in uh, the word months right here. Um, you can't see that because it's underneath. So we'll bring that up. And then I'm going to go up here to the top to change the size. Five months. Pretty simple adding that right in there. And there you go. I hope that answers some of the questions on using those half circle numbers. There's all kinds of different things that you could do with them. Um, I like masking on top of the photo like that. It's a real simple way to have a few, um, have the photo come through on the bottom.